You might notice that you cannot arrange all the content in rows and columns like flow content. Like this background item. Or this foreground item. Or items that overlap with others. We call those items append content. Append content is spaceless like stickers float on the objects. The concept is simple. Try to find out the flow content arranged in rows and columns, and the left items are append content. Let's introduce the tool append later, which moves append content into the temporary area. Execute append later. And you can see the item is moved from the navigator into the temporary area. Let's try to execute append later this item. And append later this item from right click context menu. These two items should be combined first with smart group and append later. You can see all the append items are in the temporary area. These two items are the same, smart group first and append later. And append later this one. And append later this one. After moving all the append content to the temporary area, all the content should be flow content arranged in rows and columns. So you can structure all the content by smart group. Now it's completed for flow content. And then, you are entering phase 2, append back, which means you need to append each item back into the navigator. The key idea of append back is to choose the parent item to attach, not the position. Let's take this image as an example. We click this execute append back by clicking this icon. And you will notice the position of the appended item shown in purple color. Please don't click the purple area. You must choose the item to attach. Whatever the parent item you choose, the item always appears in the purple area's position. It means the appended item will always position relative to the parent item you choose. For example, if we choose this item, it means this appended item will attach to or follow the parent item shown in yellow. If we choose this item, the item still attaches to this yellow item with a more significant relative distance. Choosing the correct parent item to follow is crucial because it will affect the responsive behaviors. When the parent item moves across the device resolutions, the appended item keeps following the parent item simultaneously. Look at the button at the top. It means the purple item will attach to the yellow item you choose. You can execute it by clicking it. The three background items should attach to the canvas, which is the root item. Let's append each background item to the root canvas item. And this tag item should attach to this image. And this new item should attach to this one. And this one is special. You can choose to attach this photo or this item. Or even attach to this one. The choice will result in different responsive behaviors. Let's try to attach this one first. And the structure phase is completed and entered into the phase responsive. Let's apply the lucky guess and see the result. And the cards are arranged from rows into columns. You can notice the item keeps following the parent image. Let's try in different ways. You can reappend again by clicking the append later icon. It's moved to the temporary area and append back again. We choose another item to attach this time. Let's see what will happen. The item will attach to the card list item at the top right corner which maintains the same relative position. The two choices might be both correct. It depends on your expectation of the responsive behaviors across the resolutions. The concept of the append content in HTML is absolute position. Absolute position means the item will position relative to the parent item. That's it.